Hey guys, Ryan from Buster Props here. Uh, just to make a video to show you how to install the new Spangler wand kit on your Spirit Proton Pack. You can see I have my Spirit Pack here. I have the Spangler wand and a couple of tools and then the kit. Um, so I'm going to set the Spangler wand aside for now um, and focus on the Spirit Pack. So there's a few things that you need to do in order to get ready for this mod. You will need to take your backing off. Um, there's a piece of cardboard, which is the main motherboard, and then there's a piece of kind of uh, foamy fabric over that. Um, you can either just rip all that, all the fabric off if you're planning on replacing the motherboard anyway. If it's something that you want to keep in good shape, it is just held on with hot glue. So you can just take a heat gun or a hair dryer and heat that up and peel it off. And then there's just a few screws uh, throughout the piece that hold on the uh, motherboard. And once you've removed those, you have access to the back side of the proton pack, which you will need for this kit. Um, after that, there's a piece here that has four screws on it. I've already removed three of those screws, but uh, take this last one out. You really don't have to do this part. Um, it just makes it all a little easier. The, the pack mount will fit um, either way. You will have to remove that screw though, um, at the minimum. But if you don't mind pulling the whole thing out, it doesn't really do anything for you once you've got this kit on. So just pull that whole thing out, set it to the side. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the pack plug piece of your kit, which is just cast in resin. Um, you'll see a little symbol of some kind, a line um, of some color marking the top of the kit. Uh, so that's going to be lined up with the top of your pack. So you can see you have this nice little square hole here. You just want to make sure you got that gold, the gold or whatever color ends up being uh, stripe fa facing towards the top and place that inside there. It fits real nice. Once you do that, you want to take a drill. It doesn't have to be a power drill. You can use a hand drill or a Dremel or whatever you'd like. Um, this is a 530 seconds inch drill bit. Just put it in there. And this is really the only major modification you have to make to the pack to make this work. You just want to drill out wherever those two holes are. Make sure you've got your holes drilled in your pack there. Um, and once you've gone through that, you'll take the actual hook part. This part's important. You want to make sure that the thinner part, you can see there, that this bottom is a little wider than the top. The top needs to go up. The thin part needs to go up. And then you just line up those holes and slide that in, just like so. These are countersunk, so you can see they're kind of flush on there. Then on the inside, you'll have another piece. This bracket. And you'll just want to, this piece lines up with a little ridge on the inside there. So you just want to slide this on over those bolt holes. Okay, so once you've got that on there and you've got your two bolts sticking through, you're going to take your nut and your washer, and you guessed it, you're going to put them on there. So I'm going to set this down. As you can see, I've got those bolts on and good to go. Um, one thing that you will want to do is get an eight millimeter wrench and put it on these nuts and use that to tighten it down the final way. It doesn't need to be extremely tight. Um, you don't want things to start cracking. If you hear cracking and breaking, then you're going too tight. Um, if you're worried about these screws coming undone, you can use a thread locker or put some super glue in the threads to hold it on there. Uh, but it's really not necessary. This uh, holds on pretty well even without that. So, yeah, that's it.